All right, people, welcome back. More Fake Card Friday. So today we are looking at a card that it seems like it's support for Monarchs, but if it existed, it would probably be like the destruction of Cosmos uh, when it comes to the Mark Ma Ma match. I mean, the match is kind of eh, because in that Monarch Storm first hurts. You know, it really does. At Erebus, it hurts too. So, you know, it's just like, hey, you know, I can't target you. How about I just fuck you up with shit that doesn't target you, you know? So... Uh, this person decided to go ahead and create a fake card where once we get through with this, you're going to be like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Cosmos would be fucked. This is Forsaken Knight. It is a dark level 6 warrior effect monster, 2400 attack, 1000 defense. Let me repeat that. 2400 attack, 1000 defense. Yes, he is the stats. You know, just like with Majesty's Fiend, he has them perfect stats to go ahead and do some monarch shenanigans. You know, unlike... Vanity's Fiend was like, hey, I got that 1,200 booty. I got 200 more booty than him. Don't you like that? And you're like, no. Why don't you have Monarch stats? This guy's like, hey, I got Monarch stats. So, uh, cannot be special summoned. All right, well, it wouldn't be the first time. I mean, I believe Majesty's Fiend and Vanity's Fiend can't be special summoned, but all you need to do is just tribute one. Tribute one, and you're good. Whether it be like, hey, I got a skill drainer. Hey, I got a Vanity's Emptiness. So, uh, let's see what this guy does. Negate all card effects in either player's graveyard. So is a soul drain. Ow. All right. Yep. Yep. Someone said that this was gonna hurt Cosmos. That hurts. That hurts. So, uh, no floaty, no floatiness. I mean, it kind of hurts you too. All cards and either player's graveyard are negated. That means there's no prime. That means there's no pantheism. There's no idos. There's no idea. But I mean, I mean, Cosmos kind of live for that. You know, it's kind of like. You know, I, you destroy my ship, I'm going to go ahead and summon another ship. Or you destroy my bigger ship, I get to go ahead and get a search. So, ooh, that hurts. But, of course, you could just run this over with the Dark Destroyer. So, eh, eh. Like, alright. So, all uh, card effects in the, in the graveyard can't be out there. That's fine. I'll just go ahead and summon the Dark Destroyer and pop you. Alright. Cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects. Alright, alright, alright. So... Flipping on Cosmos and themselves. Like, hey, you, your big sis can't be targeted. This guy can't be targeted. Or oh, I think that might be a girl, actually. I think that might be a woman. But on the card, right? Or, no? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. Either either it's a girl with a really flat chest or a guy with really long hair. And and it could go either way. It really could, you know. But in your, your little light blue Hatsune Miku hair color ain't helping either. <laughs> But, uh, yeah, it cannot be targeted by your opponent's card effects either. So, no, you cannot target this card with Dark Destroyer Pop. Ah, but that's fine, it's fine. Let's attack over it. Dark Destroyer is 3,000. This is only 24. Oh, wait. If this card attacks or is attacked by a special summon monster, you can increase this card's attack by 800 during the damage step only. Mmm, go to 32. So, Dark Destroyer, fuck you. Oh, my God. That, that, that's, that's really fucked up. So, pretty much, this, this card seems like it was just made to... Just give a big old middle finger to Dark Destroyer. It's like, yeah, I'm on the field. What? You know? Not only am I going to kill your ass, either way you attack me or, or I'm going to attack you, I'm going up to 32. So I'm not only going to kill your ass, so, <laughs> so, and you're not going to float. You can't target me with your pop effect. It's like, damn. Like, like this person was seriously out to fuck Cosmo, specifically Dark Destroyer. So, all right. All right. And, I mean, you know, fuck you two to, uh, to uh, BA and and uh, PK too. You, all card effects in the game are, are negated. That means your BAs doing their effects, they're negated. Your PK monsters activating their effect, that's negated. Your trap cards, that's negated. You know, can't be targeted. And you already know that PK Fire has a hard enough fucking time uh, getting around uh, Cosmos with the whole non targeting thing. This card, same situation, except you can't even do your little graveyard shenanigans either. So that that would be fucked up. And just a mirror match would be fucked up too. This card, this card is just like a big old fuck you to everybody. Is but damn, it, you know we could possibly see it in like Burning Abyss. You know similar to how they do their whole Majesty's Fiend or Vanity's Fiend play, especially when Burning Abyss tribute it off. You can do the same thing with this, but someone tribute it off. You can see the monarchs. Uh, you you possibly could see it in in, in, in Cosmos. And like I said, it might hurt depending on where the matchup is, but the mirror match, it might help out a little bit. Uh, you can always go ahead and, uh, you know, Monarch Storm Force. I see a couple of Cosmos side that in for their uh, Slip Rider. You know, Monarch Storm Force is so powerful, so you can just go ahead and, you know, Monarch Storm Force, tribute off your opponent's shit, and drop this. Like, mmm, mmm, that's so good. 
you know? And, ju- and just think if you trivia off something that, like, would go off in the ground. Like, for example, your opponent have like, a Dante. you like, Monarch Stormforth. And they'd be like, okay, we trivia off my shit. I mean, I don't care. I'm going to get whatever is attached to Dante and Dante. So that's cool. And you trivia it off with this. And then fucking Dante was like, oh, well, I, I wanted to go ahead and return something to you. But, uh, I mean, this fucking asshole over here is like, fuck me. So I guess I ain't doing shit. Also, he can't be targeted. And he's going to go to a 32 beater if he battles a special summon monster. So... Fuck me, right? Fuck me. So, mmm, mmm, this card. This card. If this card was real, holy shit, it, it would definitely affect the meta. It would definitely affect the frickin' uh, meta. Because, holy crap. You know? So, uh, tell me what you guys think about the Forsaken Knight in the comment section below. So, I hope that you guys enjoyed this episode of Fake Card Friday. Of course, we'll be back next Friday with another fake card to look at. So, thanks for watching. Thanks for all the support. And, uh, yeah, thanks for watching.